Switzerland, and Geneva in particular, is often associated with emirs, and other sheikhs who enjoy sumptuous palaces, stroll along the harbour in the shade of the fountain and buy out the luxury shops. True, these visitors from the Gulf do exist and they are well known, and highly appreciated by our businesses. However, the bulk of the Muslim population has little to do with them. In 1990, the Muslim population was 152,200 of the Switzerland's resident population. A surprising development for those who knows that in the early 70s, there were less than 20,000 Muslims living in Switzerland. Islam is now the second largest religion in Switzerland, after Christianity. The Muslim community of Switzerland is comprised of several nationalities, within which there are different cultures, languages, and ethnocultural particularities. In 1990, the vast majority of the Muslim community was represented by Turk nationals, 65,000 people, 42.8%, and nationals of the former Yugoslavia, 55,000 people, 30.4%. The Muslim community from North Africa, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, represented 4% of the overall community, while the Lebanese community represented 3.3%. The Muslim population is spread out evenly across Switzerland, and mainly in big urban centers, 73% of all Muslims. The largest number is found in the cantons of Zurich, Argo, Gallen, and Bern. It is interesting to note that 76% of the Muslims are settled in German-speaking Switzerland, and 14% in French-speaking Switzerland, which corresponds closely to the resident population distribution. The Turk community is more concentrated in German-speaking Switzerland, while the bulk of the North African community lives in French-speaking Switzerland. Nationals of the former Yugoslavia are spread here, and the throughout the country. It can be affirmed that, the number of Muslims is surely underestimated, since, during the 1990 census, 3.1% of foreigners did not answer the question on religious affiliation. As for more recent figures, we have to resort to estimates of the non-governmental agencies, such as, for example, the Islamic associations or organizations in Switzerland. According to these sources, the number of Muslims in Switzerland is currently estimated between 200,000 and 250,000 people, from 2.8 to 3.5 percent of the resident population. Whereas 20 years ago, there were only three mosques in Switzerland, two in Geneva and one in Zurich, there are now almost 90, generally referred to as, Islamic cultural centers sometimes open for the five daily prayers, and certainly open for Friday. The increase in the number of Muslims is a phenomenon split, between several communities and several attitudes. Turks, Bosnians, and Albanians, are each organized round a mother house in Zurich, with branches spread throughout Switzerland. A particularity amongst the Turks reproduces the political divisions of the country. A portion of the centers are controlled by the Diyanet, the Turkish Ministry of Religious Affairs, through a representative at the consulate in Zurich. On the other hand, 20 or so of the other centers are run by the Mili Gorash, an offshoot of Rifa, the former Islamic opposition party. In the face of these structured entities, the Arabist world is not only minority, but also organized in less of a hierarchy, more difficult to decipher between the so-called official centers, partially, financed by Saudi Arabia, such as, the Foundation in Geneva, or by the United Arab Emirates, such as, the Stiftung Islamist Gemschgaft in Zurich, and movements of the pietistic group, Tabu League, which advocates a return to individual practice without major political demands, or of the Muslim Brothers, a highly political reforming movement. There are rivalries, but also many interlinks contacts, common personages. It is impossible to describe this world without caricaturing it.